Give me five bucket handles. Now, ribs are like horseshoes attached in the back, in the front, or a bucket handle. Sorry, am I tickling you? No, no. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to get a hold of a rib, follow it up on the inhale, and then hold it there while she exhales out from under me in order to stretch the ribs out from underneath. And then I'll do the opposite. I think the picture shows uh, working toward the head. Is that right? No. Downward? OK. So I'm doing the opposite. It shows both? Yeah, you're right. OK. So I'm doing the bottom picture first right now. So are you right on the rib or under the rib? I'm right under the rib, pushing up on it. Maybe we'll try a little one for you. How are we doing, Karen? <coughs> so she inhaled, lifted the bucket handle, and I'm continuing to hold it up as she exhales out from under this. Now she's been hearing me talk, and we practiced this some before too, but your clients will need a lot of coaching on this. And I'll say, let your exhale drop right out from under this, or exhale from here down. Those are some things to say to help people really find a way to release the rib cage below this point. You're maintaining constant pressure through the breath. I actually take up the slack as she gives it to me. Every time she inhales, I get a little more and hold it higher and higher each time as she drops out from under. So now I'm focusing on some of the lower ribs where her. So you're going for one rib at a time rather than a whole. Yeah. Rather than the fascia above and stretching. Yep, I'm going for one rib at a time. And it's helpful to remember too that the back attachment of the rib is higher than the front attachment of that same rib. Now, the other way, if you have time, you can go through all the ribs this way. It's, it's marvelous. If it's part of a larger session, you pick the two or three most stuck spots and work them. But the other way here, I'm going to, same thing, get a rib. Let's try one of your lower ones. Here's a rib. And you take a breath in, and then as you exhale, I follow it down and I barrier, I hold it down, and you inhale from here up. So essentially lift the upper ribs off of this. Yep. So I follow the rib down on the exhale, and then the instructions were for her to breathe from here up, inhale from here up, to lift the ribs off of this one that I'm holding down. And what you'll find is that one direction seems to be, give a lot of these for people, one or the other, kind of depending on their pattern. This is a little more. This is the one for you? A little more what? More release. More release, yeah, I feel that too. Will they sometimes both uh, release up and down? Yeah, you'll have people that you can get release in both directions. But people will tend to get more of a release in one direction than the other. What's this like down here, Karen? That's it. That's it, huh? Okay. Did it? The spine and low back workshop was really transformational because I have a lot of low back issues and I felt better after doing that workshop than I had in years.